Welcome to 5 Minutes in the Word, a daily devotional in the Word of God. So Logan, we've been talking about prayer for man, the last four times, I yeah. guess, something like that. And Have you got any ideas about how all of us could improve our prayer lives? Uh, well, it's important to have the right attitude when you go to God in prayer. Right. Um, one verse in particular that kind of helps me with that is Psalm 46. Okay. Uh, em emphasizing verse 10, uh, be still and know that I am God. Uh, kind of a, a, a dissection of this real quick. Uh, the words be still, uh, be still as in just kind of relax yourself. Uh, like we're in this beautiful area right now listening and it's calming. Uh, kind of, for example, switch off your phone. Uh, just relax and know you mean that I shouldn't you... watch the TV while, I, while no, I'm praying. No. <laughs> uh, relax. Enjoy yourself because you're going into God's presence and okay. know okay. the word know mm -hmm. as in Don't doubt don't have any second opinion or anything okay. be for sure in the fact that you know that you are going to God in prayer Okay, and then the last part I am God. This is God is Almighty We have to know that God is Almighty God is powerful. God is all-knowing He is the one who will take care of us in anything that we do Oh wow, that that actually blends in with several things. Oh, you know, yeah. when you think about it, look at uh, Romans eight. I I don't know how many people I've talked to that say Romans eight is like their their favorite chapter, and you get down in there, and and the Apostle Paul is uh, he, he's really talking about a great change that took place. Mm -hmm. You know, from from living for the world to to living under under the guidance of the Spirit and for Christ, that kind of thing. And he gets down to, uh, to verse 26, and he says, Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses. For we do not know what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. So here's the deal. We're all weak. Mm -hmm. And you've kind of talked about that when you said, know that I'm God. God can take care of that. Mm. He can deal with my weaknesses. He can strengthen me where I need to be strengthened. But then he says, we know not. And I don't know how many times that I've prayed and I could honestly say, I don't even know what to ask for. Uh, what do I say? I mean, this may be an individual. I'm not thinking about anybody in particular right now, but this individual's suffering a lot, and they've lived a good life. And, you know, I know because I'm like the family. I love the person. I'd love them to live on. But is that really the right thing to ask God for? I don't know. Would it be better if this person went on? I don't know. It's... And so the beauty of this is that uh, basically I come down, I'm the guy with the groanings. Mm. I don't have the right words to say. I just kind of groan. But the Spirit takes my groanings, which I can't put into words, and He puts it into words. And He takes it before the Father, and we can be assured. And then what I love is the transition. He goes from what we don't know in verse 26, and you read on in verse 27, more especially 28. Now, he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the Spirit is because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Now stop just a minute. The one that searches hearts is, is the Father. Yeah. He knows my heart, he knows your heart. So he certainly knows what the Spirit's thinking because he and the Spirit are one, They're, it's one God. So then he goes on and says, and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. So, back here, I don't know. I don't know what to ask for. But God knows what the Spirit's thinking. The Spirit makes intercession for me. Even when I don't have the right words, the Spirit knows what words to use. And what I do know is, whatever God does provide will be the best thing. Now, if you read the rest of the chapter, you start thinking, well, wait a minute. <laughs> the best thing literally could be death. Because the rest of the chapter is talking about how that there's nothing that's going to defeat us, even death yep. will not defeat the people of God. 
So this that's a powerful. I love your passage. That's a good passage to look at for all of us when we're thinking about our prayer life is, you know, be still. That's a good advice, you know, because sometimes I think I've let other things distract me in prayer. And no, well, that's that's important that I've got confidence. I, I know God can deal with it and then that I am God. So he can handle it. I can't, but he can. So thanks. Because, because God is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. That's right. Very good.